This is the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Automotive brand multi-use transfer pump. It says it's new. It's not. They've had it forever. It says ideal for changing oil, siphoning gas, and more. Uses an air pump with the included inflation nozzle, molded handle. Item 63144. Let's take it out of the package. Before taking this out of the package, bear in mind that when you purchase this, the cashier at Harbor Freight should tell you that this item is not returnable. And the reason it is not returnable is because you might possibly pump gas with it. And if you do, then they're not going to accept it back. You can call the 800 number and play the game, but pretty much take it on faith it's going to work. Okay, here's all the stuff in the box. The pump itself, right there. Two red hoses. As you can see, there's two of them here. They're the same. There is a black hose with a little spring something on it. And uh, it has a very small opening, as you'll see. And they give you this skinny hose here. These are all like sort of PVC hoses. So what's going to end up happening is if you use this in a cold climate, it's not going to end up being that great. Uh, they give you an air fitting, you know, for a chuck right here for a tire. Okay, and that snaps shut. And that can be attached to the hose here, as you see with the barb. That'll go in there. And they give you all these other fittings, this piece here, and a nozzle. I'll get to all this stuff in a little bit. Let's see how this does just pumping some water. Okay, the far sink is filled with water. And over here is the outlet hose. After you prime it a couple of times, you should be able to see that when I pump it, it certainly moves the water no problem at all. So does it work? Yes, it actually works quite well. No problems at all. The hoses just sort of plug in just like that, no big deal. And that's really it. So yes, you can siphon gas with this. If you do that, the entire unit is going to stink like gas forever. So I do recommend that if you are going to do that, and you might possibly want to use it for other fluids, that you buy two. They're not very expensive as it is. Now I've actually used this to pump automatic transmission fluid as well, which as you know is a, a much thicker uh, substance than water. And that worked very well, and I'll show you how I did that. The problem on the particular car that I was pumping the transmission fluid out of, which happened to be a Mazda 626, I believe a 2001, uh, was that the hose they give you was either too thick or not pliable enough to get down the transmission dipstick hole, or tube, I should say. So I had to employ the use of the smaller black tube. And to do that, you take one of these guys and slip that over this way on the hose. Then you take this piece. It seems a little backwards the way it's done, but this is how you do it. And then that fits together. You want to make sure that's a nice tight fit. It's about as snug as I can make it. And then that acts as like a keeper and sort of holds it in place. You just pull it. My hands are wet, so there we go. And that sort of acts like a clamp like that. Then the black hose will stick into that and that also is just sort of a press fit just like that and you just sort of jam it together. Looks hokey, yes, but that's the way I made it work. And then this black hose was able to go into the uh, transmission uh, dipstick tube and be able to pump that. Now there is some water still in the pump so it'll be a few times till we get the black hose primed. So we'll probably get some air. Let me just move that so it doesn't spray out of the sink. Now we're getting some air. But there you go. It certainly is transferring that water even through that little hose. And then of course you can play around with a little uh, red air fitting and the uh, the tire chuck and all this great stuff here that you're probably never going to use. I would never use this to actually pump air because the the problem is you're going to like uh, 
try, you know, really lean into it. And it's just not going to work that well. But you'll see that even, you know, pumping through this little black tube is no problem at all. It just, it just takes it and just pumps every time, no problem. Uh, another thing that you'll find with this pump in time, you see they just unplug from there. I'll just get the rest of the water out of it is that especially if you pump gas with this you're gonna find the plunger gets kinda really stiff and really doesn't want to move and to fix that you want to put a little bit of oil in the pump this is actually outlined in the uh, instructions with it you just put a little bit in I forget which end really probably both wouldn't hurt and run the uh, plunger back and forth a few times like that and that will uh, make it uh, act nice and smooth again so like I said if you're gonna pump gas with it you're probably going to want to get a second one for use with other fluids I do have two of these uh, you'll see it is marked out and in over there and I'm gonna um, put a label on this you know gasoline only and then the other one will be for whatever it needs to be but not gas that's really it the Pittsburgh multi-use transfer pump once again, this was item 63144, available at Harbor Freight. Uh, really nice to have. You never know when you'll need it, and when you do, you'll be glad you have it. Of course, you can always pick it up then, too, but anyway, you get the idea. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.